Now I'm going to walk you through setting up the 1990 CCS air seeder on the Gen 4 monitor. We're looking at what our run page would look at currently. Our main run page at the top, we have two green boxes. One being our left clutch, two being our right clutch. To the right of that, we have our main, main clutch. Below that, we have our population. So if you notice, case S per acre, so 1,000 seeds per acre. We can push the little seedling and switch that and show our population for both meters or you can just show the population as an average across the entire drill. User preference there. Below, we have our, our meter scan. So we're scanning all the meters uh, population it's giving us our minimum and maximum if you have a particular row you want to look at you just touch the box type in what row and it'll show you the population of that particular row maybe you have a blockage flickering on row four so we want to go look at it real quick to the right we've got that black and green arrow in a circle this switches our view from scan mode to population at a glance. So that black line in the middle represents our target population. And then as we see on our planners, the bar graphs will dance up and down. Uh, below that line, we're below population, target population. If our bar graphs above that line, we're above target population. <clears throat> Below that, we've got uh, our 28 rows. So right now they're, they're white, the boxes are white, so it sees the sensors on the CAN bus. Uh, nothing's active, obviously we're setting still. And then at the bottom of the page, we have our low CCS tank level warning um, due to the hopper being empty. So we're gonna go into our blockage setup so <clears throat> over to the right, the second button down, and we'll begin with our run setup. Depending on the crop, we'll select our row fail rate. We've got anywhere from 20 seeds per second, clear down to one seed every three seconds. So <clears throat> we'll just select two seeds a second right now. We'll move on down, and you can turn every row on every row off, odd rows on, or even rows on. Uh, we'll turn all rows on. Can, uh, we're having a uh, single rank machine here in this uh, particular setup, so I'll have all rows on. If you were doing a, a dual rank machine and you had the front rank locked up, then we would want to uh, turn off uh, the even rows, we would want the odd rows on. So <clears throat> uh, for this single rank, we'll have every row on. We'll move over to module setup. And we've got our serial number of our blockage module. And then number of rows each module is watching. So we can hit the wizard hat if we need to make a change let's say we had a blockage module go bad we replaced it we'd want to input our new serial number and then hit accept once we have our blockage set up we can move on down to the third button and this will be our counting setup so at the top it shows our meters and then it shows our rows. And then next is our single rank selection. So we do have a single rank drill, so we have this check marked. If you are running a 1990 with dual rank, you will never select this. Even if you lock one rank up, you will never select it. 
only select single rank if you physically have one rank on the drill. So we've got our implement width and our row width. If you're dual row spacing then or a dual rank, then you would select your row width of your drill and move on. But I'll select single rank. At the bottom we've got our left and right tank clutches. <clears throat> so one being left and two being right. Next we'll move on over to population. So we can put in you know whatever population we're wanting to drill at and then we can set our target alarm so it's 10 percent above and below um, 140,000 right now so uh, that is user defined right there population adjusts is set at 100 and then down below we have our speed setting so we are looking at GPS or using GPS speed um, on a 1990 we don't need uh, speed for the actual drill to drill due to it being a ground drive machine unless it's been converted but uh, from the factory they're ground drive so the speed source is simply for the monitoring system so <clears throat> GPS is going to be our most accurate speed source uh, that is the setup of your 1990 air seeder um, the fourth button down is just your totals so you can get some field acres uh, keep track of certain fields you can record uh, uh, footage a uh, certain track how far it is uh, you can zero that out you can zero out the acres by selecting it hitting zero and the last button at the bottom is diagnostics or the book with the wrench <clears throat> we've got our readings so left and right clutch if it's engaged or disengaged uh, if your height switch is up or down and then our speed source if uh, we're seeing any ground speed or wheel speed and then powered on time and uh, then level sensor next we've got our master module we can go in and see our software part number software version and then hardware uh, we've got some voltages for sensor power and solenoid and ECU power. <clears throat> so next we have our member modules and we can see our software version as well as our serial number on those. Next we'll go to tests. The only test we have is test all sensors. And this is really just doing roll call. It's going out and seeing what sensors it sees on the CAN bus. It'll come back. It sees all the sensors that it was supposed to, so all sensors passed. If there was a sensor not showing up, it would come back and tell us which sensor wasn't reading. That is the setup of a 1990 air seeder. Thank you for watching.